Hello everyone, my name is Doug Bassett. I'm Senior Technical Instructor here at Stormwind Studios. And one of the classes that I teach, in fact, it's one of my favorite classes, is CompTIA Network Plus. Uh, CompTIA Network Plus is um, it's agnostic. It doesn't care what hardware you have. It just says this is how networks operate. And I get a lot of questions, people saying, you know, I have somebody, they started off at, uh, at help desk and end user support, and now we've sent them to a little bit of training on networks. Why would it be important for them to be um, Network Plus certified or familiar with Network Plus? And the answer is, is a lot of the training that we get is hardware specific. So this is how you do a Meraki firewall. This is how you go in and configure this. This is how you go in and configure that. But they all run under the same underlying processes. So if I'm going in and I'm looking at my network, I have tons of stuff in here. I have switches. I have hubs. Uh, well, hopefully I don't have a whole lot of hubs. I have switches, I have routers, uh, maybe I need to do some firewalls, maybe I'm worried about security and all that. And a lot of times we're just kind of focused. I, I grab the installation manual, slap the thing in there, install this screw, type this thing, do this, do that. But I'm kind of a trained monkey. I, I, I don't understand why I need to do something. I just know that if I don't do something, it's going to cause a problem. Now, uh, first problem that we have with that is that if you just do it because it says that in the book and you don't understand what uh, what the underlying process is, it's going to be a lot harder to troubleshoot because I don't know really what's going on. I click the button and it should work. I click the button and you click the button and it doesn't work. Then you got to figure it out. So what we try to do in our Network Plus classes is we go in and we, we teach concepts, the underlying concepts. And because CompTIA separates physical hardware, I don't have to know the Cisco way of doing it. I don't have to know the Microsoft way of doing it. They say, this is how a switch works. And that's how a switch works. And uh, the advantage to that is I teach concepts. I teach it all the way down into the depths because if you understand the underlying process, when we have to secure it, I know that it's exposed here and here and here and here. And then when I want to secure it, I know, oh, I have to encrypt it here. I need to encrypt it there. I need to encrypt it there. Why is it showing me the MAC address of the router as opposed to the MAC address of the user who tried to attack this? Why is that showing up in my log files? We explain why that happens. Um, how in the world the man in the middle attacks? They're always saying, oh, encrypt everything. Man in the middle attack, man in the middle attack. I don't know how that works. And so when they do special man in the middle attacks, like maybe they do an ARP man in the middle attack or an IP man in the middle attack or a DNS man in the middle attack, they operate at different layers. And in that Network Plus class, I explain how these layers work, how to lock them down. These are what the bad guys do. This is how you can fix it. This is how you can mitigate it. So by understanding the technology underneath the networks and how all these network appliances and components work, you can set it up right the first time. You can secure it and not leave a bunch of security holes. When there are new vulnerabilities exposed because you know how it works when it's supposed to be working right, you will then understand what the hackers are doing to exploit it. And then you'll know this is a type of mitigation. Maybe I need to tar pit it. Maybe I need to go in and put it into a honeypot. Maybe I need a botnet or something like that. And you will be able to make these decisions. Just being trained in a particular vendor's method of doing it, whether the vendor is awesome, mediocre, or whatever, you're kind of locked into that. And when I'm providing IP serv or IT services, I want to make sure I can do best of breed within the budgetary requirements and performance requirements that are necessary to support the business goals. And by understanding the underlying technologies behind all these network components, wired, wireless, Ethernet, token ring, fiber optic, storage area networks, all that other good stuff, I can be a valuable resource to my employer because now I say, oh, well, these are the gotchas we have to pay attention to. Oh, we have to watch out for this and this and this. So this is how we can eliminate max spoofing. Oh, you want to do a uh, max sec uh, where we encrypt it between switches, but inside the switch, we can still do dynamic inspection. Show you how to do that. How do we prevent having rogue uh, DHCP servers? We show you how to do that. So it's sort of like saying, why would I need to know addition if I'm doing trigonometry functions? Because it's kind of the basis for the whole thing. So uh, understanding how networks work makes you more able to configure it, more able to secure it, more able to troubleshoot it than if you didn't understand, regardless of the vendor. So, you know, I get a little excited when I teach this stuff. I'm real passionate about it. 
I really love Network Plus. And uh, my students uh, super, super enjoy it. I've had people that's been doing networking for 20 years, and I've had them come into chat and say, dude, I've never understood this before. I've never understood this before. And you have cleared it up, and that also identifies why we're having these problems. Anyway, I could, I could talk forever about Network Plus. Uh, here's my recommendation. Uh, if you do have questions, feel free to email me, doug.bassett at stormandlive.com. But get your folks signed up for Network Plus. Um, you can do it on demand. You can do it live. You get a book. It's really, really awesome. And um, I'm excited to teach it. So hopefully I'll see you sometime soon in a Network Plus class. Have a good one.